point for the rest of your life now. Yeah. And it's like, dude, I don't care about that. And now it just seems like everything she says and talks about and makes music about is about fighting her. It's like, <laughs> we don't care about this. <laughs> Yeah, back in the field with the track stars, Ryan Wright, Sean Tanner, DJ Jeremiah. What's good? Yeah, man. All right, so Ryan's not here today. I'm back, though. So, uh, <laughs> gonna keep it moving. We gonna keep it moving. We keep playing musical chairs. Thank you guys for um, holding it down. Y'all, y'all killed it, man. No, we had fun. I mean, everything was pretty cool, bro. Y'all so, killed it. Y'all killed it. So yeah. go to trackstars.com for all the latest. Uh, subscribe to us on iTunes. iTunes podcast. Um, uh, definitely keep supporting us, even though we're doing this live. This is kind of like a courtesy to you guys, but we still need you to support the iTunes podcast. Um, we got some cool news coming. I can't tell you just quite yet. Actually, a, a ton of news. Yeah, yeah. For man. track stars, for Nectar, for some of our artists. It's like it's a ton of cool stuff happening. Speaking of Nectar. We got one of our Nectar Elite artists in the building, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah. How you doing, sir? What's going on? Glad to be here. Marcus Anthony in the building. He actually uh, uh, competed last night, the 16 Bar Challenge at City Takers Experience. Oh, wow. Yes, wow, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Shout out to City Takers, Scott Free, man. It was a great evening, man. Just thankful to be a part, man, in the ATL. Yeah, man. So everybody did well, man. And you know what's crazy? <laughs> So I'm a judge for this thing, right? And then I see, <laughs> I see all the artists come in, and it's like nectar, 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 <laughs> nectar, nectar. I'm like, how am I supposed to be unbiased? On this? <laughs> but I did my best to be unbiased. Um, I actually was. I, I told him I was like, I'm gonna be harder on the people I know. Oh wow. So, so because you know I know people gonna think I'm being biased. But anyway, everybody, everybody did really good. Um, we wow. gave feedback live to some people That's as good. well. So I think it overall it was positive. I think um, it was me, Sherrod White, and Plain James judging. Cool, cool. Yeah, and we yeah. were generally impressed, man. Like, we were like, whoa, you, when you come to something like this, you don't expect so many artists to be good. And you expect <laughs> a bunch of duds and then maybe one guy that could really spit. That's old Everybody school, Everybody can though. spit, though. That's old school. That's old, that, like, those competitions back in the day, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's old school to see a bunch of people that's like, oh, he needs work, he needs work. And then one person saw, like stands out like a sore thumb is like, oh, snap, we got him. We got yeah. the person. Yeah, yeah. Now it's like everybody sore thumbs. It's like, you know what I mean? So, yeah, it's going to be hard, man. Shout out to CHH growing, like just constantly growing, man. Yeah, for sure. So, but sound like you guys had the, the, the place on lock like that. So that's pretty cool, man. That's pretty cool, bro. Yeah, so um, what we want to talk about first is, um, so Nicki Minaj has been kind of going crazy, um, and we're trying to figure out why. So <laughs> her album came out, Queen, and um, she, it's her, it was her first week against uh, Travis Scott's. Second week. Second yeah. week, mm-hmm. and she came in second. Mm. And she has not been taking it well, and she's been saying a lot of stuff. What we want to focus on, though, is what she's complaining about and if it applies to our industry, our world. She's complaining that Travis Scott bundled merch with album sales to boost his album sale number. Yeah. And she's trying to fight. It sounds like she's even trying to fight to get that taken away where you can't do that anymore. So it's just straight album. Straight album sales. Even though she tried to do it too at the yeah, last minute yeah, to catch up. But it didn't do it. It didn't do well. <laughs> what do you guys think? Um, is that just a creative solution to getting your album sales higher? Should we be employing more of that? Like bundling? I, I've seen artists even in Christian Hip Hop do that. Let me tell y'all something. It's people that bundle when you go to those conferences, those women conferences and stuff like that. I've heard people do bundling like that like they they put a ticket for the conference but their album too so when you go in so like let's say it's like 50,000 people go to a conference a women's conference like 50,000 women go to a women's conference and they order a ticket for it the part of the ticket is the album so they count that album as sales so this has been going on for years I think what it was is like um that people start to see like oh wow okay this is can help you more than anything else so a hoodie with the name of your album can help you and stuff like that now here's the thing you got to have a strong fan base to do this if you don't have a strong fan base then yeah people are gonna need to want your merch yeah and that's 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 a unique yeah uh blessing to have that yeah. where people just like you so much they just but then she also was upset that his girl 
tweet it out. Tweet it out like, yo, uh, I'm going to be on tour with my man. You know, come see us. And, and, she and got the baby. Mad. And the baby. <laughs> so basically, this is getting down to tricks, right? Yeah. Like, does she have a point? Is she hypocritical because she does the same stuff? Are there industry tricks that are going on? And is there stuff that we actually need to be aware of? Because it's not like it's immoral to bundle your merch and yeah, your yeah, albums. Yeah, it's not yeah, like yeah, yeah. this is not like a uh, Christian problem, right? So this is just strategy. Yeah. Should we figure out ways to capitalize off of any kind of attention you may garner from, you know, doing music and funnel that to sales? Because the reason why they're doing that is because getting number one on Billboard still means a lot to a lot of people. It still yeah. kind of solidi solidifies your spot. And the reason she's going so crazy about this is because she feels that she should have been number one and being number two is less than that. You know, yeah. major, like, it's like one and then two in her mind, right? <laughs> so, but I, I remember seeing on The Breakfast Club, Charlamagne gave her donkey today, but he described it as she, your second album, your other album, The Pink Print, came in at number two. Yeah. And it was a no problem then. Yeah. So the question is, what's the real question? Is, is it... Is it the Cardi thing? Cardi going number one this year? It's Cardi. Like, Cardi being number one now is looking like... Just because the, the, the VMAs, like, they were clearly sending shots back and forth. And it's, <laughs> it's, clouding her, it's clouding her judgment. Like, um, And I've seen this with a lot of artists where you get fixated on proving a point. Yeah. And then all your music surrounds that point for the rest of your life now. Yeah. And it's like, dude, I don't care about that. And now it just seems like everything she says and talks about and makes music about is about fighting her. It's like, <laughs> we don't care about that. That's crazy. Well, you know, I, I think that um, when you're talking about the bundles and stuff, it kind of depends. It, it, it can be shady depending on where your pricing point is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah. If, if you're selling, if your shirt is $15 and then you're selling your shirt for $15 and you're throwing in a free CD and you're counting that as a sale, I don't know. It can it can be kind of shady. -ish, I can sell but, a $5 shirt but if it, I get it for a dollar. Yeah, I'm just saying, <laughs> you know, but it's, it's gaming the system and what it is. It is and it ain't it nothing is. wrong. If it's a loophole that you could take advantage of and go ahead and get it in that way, then that's cool. You know what I'm saying? So, like, it's nothing nothing inherently wrong with it. it it's smart. You know what I'm saying? And uh, it, it, it's just tactics is what it is. You know what I'm saying? For those people who care about the charts and stuff like that, that that'll help. You ain't going gonna to make less money, you know what I'm saying, off the actual sale of it. Yeah. But will you make more money down the road because you had these charts and stuff and will your bookings increase and so forth? What are know? the other tricks? Because that's just one trick. They were saying that Travis Scott's label bought like 200,000 copies of it. Yeah. That's a that's a trick that's been in the Well, that's an old long school time. trick, yeah. But should that be fair that you get credit for 200,000 albums that no actual person paid for? Well, I think at the same time those are like those are giveaways that people win for like should radio you get stations credit and stuff for that. Like because basically the one with the most money wins. You're basically Golden State. You can just buy every player you want, right? <laughs> so, is that fair? <laughs> to be able to just say I can if I'm gonna buy five hundred thousand, I'm gonna but, make sure they but, number one. Okay, so let me ask you a question. So if this was the total opposite, if this was if we put this in CHH, and I am a person that's big, been out for years, you the newcomer, and you have a big person that's invested in you that said, you know what, Marcus, I'm gonna buy, I'm. Five, I'm gonna buy fifty thousand copies of your album, and we're gonna scan it on there. And then it came out that your 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 investor bought fifty thousand of your albums. Is that fair to like somebody like me that came out with an album? It's game in the system because if I don't have rich friends or a rich company to help buy my album up, then how is that fair to me? Well, then you gotta network better. <laughs> <laughs> but, but but what it does is yeah you're right you have to network it basically makes success as an artist more about who you know yeah. than how good the music is and if that's well, well honestly okay people are saying that Travis Scott album is is actually good is actually good um but, but, I've, I've I've heard it because of the whole line for line thing we did with him in one K Fuel but I mean it's a decent album it's not like I wasn't blown away by it but it was a, a decent good album it was a decent album once when I when I was um, editing it. Um, but at the same time, you got to understand there's a lot of factors in this whole Nicki Minaj situation, though. It's people are getting tired of her. I think that's what it is. People are getting tired of her, period. So the decrease has been happening 
but she just didn't happen. And then I, I mean, I was just, I was listening to different people this 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 week on it. Dead in, dead in hip hop. They had they did a review, and different people were talking about her, and they were just saying how when she first came in, the pop wave was heavy yeah. in music. And so I, that EDM sound pop. Then I mean, now that those dead. artists aren't even doing yeah. good anymore. Like Katy Perry's not doing that. Um, Lady Gaga. So all these people has transitioned where she is like stuck there and like, what am I supposed to do? Because even like, even honestly, to a certain extent, even Wayne, Wayne has faced this. Like, it's like everybody on Young Money that's only hot is Drake, like from that camp. So I don't know, I don't know what it is. And I just think she didn't think another female rapper was going to be bigger than her anytime soon and this cardi b situation just came out of nowhere and she's like what what okay but i want to go this is more about the tricks what other tricks do people use to boost their numbers because it feels like if we don't know these tricks and everybody it's like steroids if you're not using oh okay you may in in retrospect you may be like oh wow you were a clean player but your numbers were were bad Nobody ends up caring in the okay, long so run. Is what it if, worth figuring out the tricks? What if LeCroy had been doing this for like 10 years? <laughs> Would is y'all it, be like, is it oh, wrong snap. For him to do that? No, I'm just saying. I'm just asking that question. Because once you get a machine behind you, something changes, period. So if you get a machine behind you and you start knowing the tricks, would you tell other people the tricks? Um, yeah, I, I would tell some people the tricks. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell everybody. Uh, you know, I just, I think, I think it's just the whole industry. Like, man... Like, I just think it's so whack how important these charts are because people are just wasting money just to get a slot position on a chart. And, like, I don't know, man. To me, I don't like that. It's you all know? about fooling the sheep. Yeah. yeah. It's because you know being number one, whether it's legit or not, makes a bunch of people think you must be good. Yeah. Hmm. It's the same thing I thought when I was a kid. I thought that the people who were doing the best were the best. Yeah. And then you go get older and you realize that's not even close to true. Yeah. They right. may they may also be pretty good. Yeah. But the reason they're there is because a lot of people know what strings to pull on at the right time to get them to that spot. But here's a all right, going back to the story. But if Kylie Jenner didn't tweet that out about being on tour with her, her boyfriend or her husband or whatever, like that changes a lot too, because she has another fan base that probably don't even rock with Travis Scott like that. So that's something that, so that's another thing that we got to look into. That cold sign, what's a, what's a, what's considered a great cold sign? What's considered, I don't want that cold sign. You know what I mean? So that that was a big that was a big jump too, as we talking about this whole bundles thing, like bundles. That's one, and then another thing is cold signs. If somebody give you throw a cold sign out to you at in the middle of the game that could change a lot of stuff for you you know what i mean yeah but cosigns i wouldn't even I, that's not cheating you know what i mean like if you know who you know and they tweet out for you that's that's not cheating this feels more like cheating basically using things other things to count as something else i think that's why there's a debate around it should it be allowed should they get rid of bundle bundle sales i, I mean i don't think so because music is not selling like that like Music in itself is not selling. So but it doesn't make it sell anymore. You know what I mean? Like I'm just saying they could still do that if they want, but should it count? But they've been doing this for years though. This is that's what I'm saying. Like even like even I've heard about Prince doing this. Like I mean, years yeah. like when he when he, when he tried to get off the grid and be like writing slave on his face and like those those them years where he left oh I'm sorry, when he finally 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 left Warner Brothers and he was independent, that's how he was selling stuff. You get a ticket and you get his album. That was part of the thing. Yeah, yeah. So they've been doing smart. that for years. Uh, to me, that's genius. Like, yeah, for for me, that's why I said it, it should count depending on like the pricing point. You know, because it should, it's, the people who judge it should set up some guidelines. Right. Like, exactly. if you're selling a T-shirt for five dollars and getting a free CD with it, that shouldn't count as an album sale. Like, if if the if the value of the album is is decreased to zero, where you're literally not paying for it. Then that should be. But what if your whole What if your whole album is one ninety nine, and you get a and you get? But there is there is a minimum that you can price, price point. point. Like based on a certain amount of songs, you can't. I mean, unless there's some secret I don't even know about. 
You can't go under a certain amount. Like there is a minimum album. I mean, they put people's albums at like seven dollars. Yeah, but that's that's, 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 that's the point. Okay, okay. So depending so, on how many songs you got. Yeah, if you got your five dollar shirt and your seven dollar album and your bundle, you know, or say your shirt is ten and your album seven and you sell the bundle for fifteen, you know, you can decrease. I guess it depends because you can say your shirt is only a yeah. dollar, so you know you can still game it. I somehow. guess as long as it's more than the the worth of what what billboard or, or or whoever says an album is worth and you have to have a minimum t-shirt worth then too i guess <laughs> to, so you know well, you just have to have guidelines yeah so okay so besides the bundling thing what is some other stuff that we can use for for us in this genre what do you think it seems like <laughs> one one idea i had i don't know if this is going to work I, it doesn't even fully make sense but i would love to start like um listening campaigns streaming campaigns where we're like, all right, at noon o'clock on Tuesday, everybody go listen to Derek Miner's album. Everybody. Like, spike that joint. <laughs> so that if yeah. it spikes and it gets up into, like, like on a chart, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. then it might stay on the chart because everybody is chart-focused. They want to see it yeah. hit something. Yeah. Everybody go listen to Kayla Mitchell. Everybody go listen to... And then we pick a date and a time. And, and everybody go. And a song. Put one song on repeat. And let that join because we're doing better album chart wise, but we're not still not charting with songs. Yes, I'm not seeing our yeah. songs hit hit um, the viral any top chart. fifty. But if we could get a song Stuff like enough. we all work well, yeah. <laughs> but if we could he's kinda of doing the same thing I'm talking about. If we could get if we could get uh one song to chart and then we pick another one and another one. And we just keep, they keep seeing it. Like, who is this? Because a lot of people, they're just numbers driven. They're just watching charts and they're like, who is this guy? Who is Juice World? Did you know who Juice World was? No. I looked at Spotify and I'm like, why is Juice World number one on Spotify? Period. Never wow. heard of him in my life. How the heck did he get there? But he's so part of that SoundCloud mumble rap situation. Okay, but how did he get to number yeah. one on Spotify? I ain't never seen this dude a day in my life. Yeah. There's however he got here, however he got there. People saw that and then they started paying attention to him. Yeah. We need to start focusing effort as a community and forget about whose camp somebody's from or if it benefits you in any kind of way. Pick somebody, pick a day and a time or just a full day and listen to that joint she also, and support. She also it. was saying that Spotify kind of hurt her because they didn't do the Drake thing with her. Cause did, did y'all know that Drake, when he first dropped his Scorpion album, he had a song on every playlist, even gospel playlists? Yeah. yeah he yeah. was on the cover of God. Um, Fresh yeah, gospel. God's plan, yeah. basically. Yeah. So it's like they were supposed to give her that package too, and so they didn't. But so I think that's something else too. There's a lot of trickery with these streaming services. Yeah. There's a lot of trickery. There's a lot of people getting um, behind the scenes deals. I'm not gonna talk too much. Um, but <laughs> uh, that stuff got to get factored in too. There's a lot of people who get a lot of um, handouts and, and advantages. And and the real deal is, I'm my goal with Nectar and Track Stars is to figure out what they're doing. I'm obsessed with figuring out what the trick is because if they know a trick, I need to know the trick because what we have is more important than what they have. Yeah. So I we, we need to get that stuff in the same room, and I'm gonna figure it out. <laughs> I guarantee it. I'm going to figure it out. So just so you know, and then there's a lot of other people around me. That we're gonna figure it out between between Doc Watson and and there's a lot of people in Atlanta. Um, um, who else is working? Um, we're supposed to be meeting with Aaron today. She's working. Um, um, Robinson Legacy is working. Yeah, shout out Stanley. Um, uh, of course, everybody uh, at Rapzilla and um, there's just people that I've been talking to recently. That between us, we gonna figure this out. I guarantee it. So whatever the trick is, and some, I, I think some people have figured it out. I need to have more conversation. But whatever the trick <laughs> is, yeah, we're going to have to have another conversation. But whatever the trick is, we're going to figure this out because we're getting close. I smell it. We're getting real close so, okay. to having the same opportunity. So if we get that opportunity, are we going to say, everybody come in or, yo, almost like the Trayvon are model. Are, the we gonna, are we going to do the Trayvon model? Like one person goes and they bring the other people and they come and then they come. Or are we just going to open the door and say, run, run, everybody run. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I mean, I don't know. Cause um, I think you need a strategy. I think that's another thing that CHH lacks is strategy. Some people use strategy and some people don't. And everybody expect everybody should just eat. But it's like somebody's been strategizing on how to eat versus just Everybody just trying to eat. You know what I mean? So you got to figure out something like, okay, 
on Monday we're going every like your your theory. On Monday we're going to listen to Marcus Anthony and Jasmine song. Keep it moving, everybody. Do do that Monday. We're going to yes, do that yes. Tuesday. Do that. We're going to listen to Rick Sincere, Full Throttle. Tuesday, everybody. Um, Wednesday we're going to listen to Worry by Sean David Grant. Do that. Do that. You know what I mean? Like the only the only thing is the only way for it to be effective <laughs> is it has to be selfless. If I was actually announcing, maybe we give everybody a turn. And let today is um, uh, Rep the King's turn. Yeah. But who, when it's your turn, it can't be your person. Mm. Because I think people are going to assume this is a selfish ambition. And yeah. I'm trying to make sure it's as unselfish as possible. I would try to pick somebody who is as has least to do with me as possible. Yeah, it's right? true. And, and to really But honestly, then you can't be mad when it's their day on their turn. They pick exactly. <laughs> exactly. But it, it has to be non, non-selfish. Um, and as... As as uh, little to do with you as possible yeah. for this to feel as pure as possible. The the point of this is pure, so I don't want anybody to start taking advantage. Everybody everybody gets a day to to nominate somebody, and I don't know how to prevent them from being selfish, but yeah. you should be picking people. You know, I'll just do it myself. I'll pick people that have nothing to do with our own agenda. Yeah, and it's gonna be hard because eventually you're gonna land on somebody who does. Yeah. But if I do enough people who don't, then that should balance out. No, but what I'm saying is, I get what you're saying, because you're, you're, how do you, you're, what you're saying is right, and you you have a pure heart. Some people don't. Some people are like, yo, my guy is that guy, so we need to play him on that well, day. Well, that's why I don't trust you guys, so I'm gonna do it myself. <laughs> so, um, we're gonna pick, I don't know. I don't even know if this is gonna work. I, I've thought about this for over a year. I don't know if it's actually gonna work. If we get a, if if CHH has a million people, and there you know, certain people in CHH have I follow them on Spotify, and they have certain songs that are a million. This can work. We just need everybody that's affiliated, everybody that wants to do it. To help the next person. If you're down, if you're an artist out there, if you're big, if you if you've been in the game for years, if you just got into this or whatever, if you want to help us with this, let's do it. Because I think it can help the next person. If you have that mentality, if you don't have that mentality, then we don't. We, and, and and people are yeah. gonna get salty, of course, because people are gonna be like, "Well, how come you haven't done me yet? How can you? I don't know how to avoid people's egos. I'm sorry, but this is. I think this could work. I know eventually it'll have to be shut down because people will be mad. But for the time being, I think. But no, work. you can't because if it's the equivalent to when that whole situation with Chick Fil A and it was like, "Yo, everybody go to Chick Fil A on this day. We're gonna go and everybody gonna eat." And Chick Fil A was like, "Thank y'all. Thank you for the busy with busy." I mean, it was yeah, and, Wendy's, and Wendy's was like, "What?" But that's oh Wendy's God. fault. They they <laughs> they open on Sunday. That's yeah, their I fault. mean, it's just like. You know, whoever Kanye tweeting out, hey, go listen to my song. He just has a million people that follow him. Yeah. So if we have a million followers total, and they all go listen to the song at the same time, and your song goes from two thousand to one million in two thousand streams, like I mean, that's super. You know, dope. it's gonna be. You know, it's gonna. This is the the irony of this is somebody go look at this video once it's on YouTube, like once it's chopped up, and be like, yo, that's a great idea. We're gonna do that, and we're gonna be like. They took short. <laughs> I, did, I don't really. care as long as it's done with a pure purpose. I no, I'm care. talking about somebody outside of CHA. Oh, about- <laughs> <laughs> yo, that's a good idea, son. Yo, such as a blah blah blah. But I just, I just think we got to work together to make this happen. There's, we, we all have little camps that we have access to. If we, we just got to combine resources. Without, it's two things because I also don't. Everybody that kind of comes to Track Stars and wants to work with Track Stars. I'm always mindful that I don't want to take your thing. Oh yeah, unless yeah, you yeah, want yeah. me to have it, I don't want to take it because yeah. I I don't want anybody to to take my dream. Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah, yeah. Some people they have something that perfectly fits in with your dream, but some people have something that's they have a a, a longer uh, uh, vision yeah. than where you are now. And I don't ever want to make people feel like they have to give me everything they have to yeah. to, to work with me. I would say it should be like. Um, South by Southwest, what we did this year at South by Southwest, what CHH did on that man. Everybody that was came a together. Example. Example. And, was and Doc is a great person to organize this because he's he's very selfless when it comes to this stuff. He can get a lot of different people to work together, and none of those people feel used. Yeah. You know what I mean? So maybe that's so. a Doc Watson. We sit down with him and we and we and maybe we, we try it for a month. Cause that gives 30 people. We get whoever we want for those days to hey. This is what we're going to do. It's almost like Oprah's book club where it's like, all right, we're reading this book today. Yeah. 
and then we're gonna talk about it. We reading this book this week. Yeah. We're gonna talk about it. So I, something like that, maybe some sort of uh, streaming club that, that people could uh, people could sign up to participate that, yeah. and agree to do it, and, and artists could sign up to to be a part of it. Yeah, and, then and we just every work and all the artists, artists, radio websites, whatever. Get together and say, okay, on this day we're gonna push this song by this artist, and and maybe and like maybe that would be dope if we did it. If it's a streaming club and then you artists and you, you know, what I mean, we'll figure out the details later. But yeah, and everybody says we're gonna champion this one person. This was the person we're gonna champion on this Monday. On this day, we this this. I, can, I, I my, the way my brain works, I'm already seeing the problems. Um, because. <laughs> They'd be like, how come he deserves it? You know, he did this, 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 and this. <laughs> You're gonna start checking people's past and stuff. Oh, oh, whatever, wow. man. God, let's. Uh, anyway, let's uh, let's keep it. Welcome moving, to man. CHH. Let's keep it moving. Thank you, God. Thank you for uh, helping us host today. Let's get back into it. You in the field with the track stars, Ryan Wright to Sean Tanner, DJ Jeremiah. Let go. Hey guys, Miracle here. Thank you so much for watching that episode. Make sure you go below, like it, subscribe, click the bell, and make sure you follow us on all forms of our social media. Also, check out our website and be sure you spread the word. We'll see you next time. We know not what we doing. Screw that, they know, let them have it, do it. Okay, I'm around and prove it. Never mind, got a mind that'll wind up with me in a lineup behind bars with these bars. Okay, my time. Team Freedom! Yeah. We not through yet. All right. Track Stars Music presents. Turn my volume up. Turn me off.